Web2, we know where it came from because Web2 okay. is tracking all your information. It's you tracking to, everything. What you, talk, tell me about the information everything. that it's tracking. Your IP address, your browser type, your histories, cookies, things are stored in your browser. That's why if you go to a website and you look up, you know, a football, all of a sudden you're going to be seeing football ads all over the place, right? Web2 records your information, right? And that's what people hate. They hate that. But yet it's part of what's making the whole circle happen. So with Web3, you own it. means now you have a, a, a an actual NFT that you own on a blockchain that belongs to you, right? So Nobody let, can let's, copy that. let's talk a little bit more about what an NFT is. And I mean, you know, I yeah. think I understand a little bit, but for everybody else that may not understand it, an NFT is, is, is short for non-fungible token. So, right. you know, you, you've got fungible tokens and non-fungible. So let's look at it in terms of like the dollar. A fungible token, that's something that you can spend. You can spend a dollar. But then a non-fungible token, let's look at, say, your home. Your home would be a non-fungible token. You can't realize the value of how much it really is worth unless you convert it or you get somebody to give you money or finance in order to be able right. to purchase that thing. And even if you're in a pre you know, defined uh, neighborhood, if you will, where they're all, mm -hmm. you know, spec homes that are being built, even if it's the exact same home with the exact same features, the exact same colors, it is still not the exact same home. 